check in with Craig. We started tracking a hurricane here. Now it's a tropical storm. All the more reason to keep an eye on this, right, Craig? Yeah, right. And it will probably be a hurricane again before all is said and done. In fact, uh, we're going to go over to the National Hurricane Center and talk to the director there, Ken Graham. And uh, Ken, from a from just a fascinating meteorological point of view, this storm really has been one to watch over the last 24 hours. Uh, we were talking about the different steering currents and how the strength of the storm really plays a role here. Uh, this has been a tricky one for sure. The intensity has been tough and interesting in this case, you know, the intensity actually impacts the track. I mean, if you start thinking about a weaker storm tracking on the left side of the cone, a stronger storm was on the right side. So many different steering currents going on. And then we also have shear and dry air impacting the storm. And then you get some frictional components with some of the impacts over the islands. Just a really tricky forecast. But now that we're over the, the Florida Straits and now that we have uh, the nocturnal convection, and a lot of times I, we see these things at night you start getting this con constriction of the storm you start getting that convection right around the center so we are forecasting it to become a hurricane again overnight but such an important point the difference between a tropical storm and a hurricane is only one mile an hour so either way you start to see some of these impacts but for us those rain bands we'll have to watch those rain bands you can get 50 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts in those rain bands and we're talking a slower moving storm too now. I think we were thinking that earlier, but it seems that now the departure of the storm will be a little delayed as well as the onset. Yeah, definitely. So slowing down. We expect that normally when you start getting uh, these storms to curve. It's just such a, you think about this as a, a, like almost like a ship that, that it has to turn. They slow down before they, they do that. But in this case, you know, you start getting some wobbling. You start getting convection that impedes the progress. You're going to get varying speeds here, but still approaching the Florida coast. You start looking at the central part of the, the east coast of Florida through the day tomorrow and, and into Monday just being so close. So we're going to leave that hurricane uh, warning up. It's just too close for comfort. To, to let our guard down. Yeah, definitely. And for us, of course, the uh, tropical storm warning, because I think we will see tropical storm conditions, especially in Broward as we go through the night, and some tropical storm gusts uh, in Miami-Dade, at least. Yeah, definitely, especially in those rain bands. You know, just we, we recognize those. They move fast. I was listening to the broadcast. They, they come in, they move out really quick, and you can get some of those high, high rainfall amounts. You can get the, the tropical storm force winds and, and also some severe weather. It's not uncommon. As we get closer to the coast, we'll start seeing some water spouts in some of those rain bands. And if it gets on land, it could be some tornadoes as well, something else that we have to watch out for. Okay, Ken Graham, director of the National Hurricane Center, thank you so much. Stay safe, of course. And uh, as Ken was talking there, the storm has kind of been pulsing up and down. In fact, the center is down here, but that big, big thunderstorm pulse to the north of it there, which is a sign that's probably not going to continue to weaken now. It was down from 75 to 70 miles an hour, but uh, probably no more weakening there. But actually, we kind of like the strengthening because of those steering currents it's capturing will tend to turn it more back to the northwest. 70 mile an hour, a strong tropical storm moving northwest at 10 pressure was down. It came up some and now it started to go back down a little bit, 115 miles southeast of Fort Lauderdale. There are the hurricane warnings Ken mentioned because the storm is going to come very, very close to the coast, may even make landfall along part of the Florida east coast north of us. Tropical storm warnings for Miami-Dade and Broward, tropical storm warnings in the inland areas up to the north down as far as uh, Key Largo. And you can see the hurricane warnings continuing uh, now for the northwest Bahamas. And now uh, tropical storm watches and hurricane watches going up for a part of the coast north of us into the Georgia coast. Here's the cone, the threat cone as we call it, because it includes the tropical storm conditions and the threat for hurricane conditions. And there is the outline of the cone, pretty thin because the cone starts, of course, from a point and then thing kind of spreads out. And you can see the tropical storm conditions forecast to uh, overspread us tonight and then overspread much of the coast tomorrow. And then look at this, the, the forecast takes it still as a tropical storm all the way up pretty much skirting up the east coast. So trust me, everybody along the eastern seaboard is watching this almost as closely as we are. I know we're watching really close because it is very close. Hurricane hunters have been out during the day. That's an Air Force plane. This is a NOAA plane that's been doing some research there. And now we have what's called the G4, which is the high altitude jet, which is going to circle uh, the storm here. And they're going to drop instruments into the atmosphere. They want to know exactly what the atmosphere looks like because in terms of data going into the computers, garbage in, garbage out, well, they want a really nice picture of what's going on around the storm to put that into the computers. Here's the radar, and you can see the squalls coming our way. They're going to continue through the afternoon. The big thing I think that has saved us with this storm is the wind shear and the dry air. Uh, this time of year, African dust still out there, some of it around there, but you can see 
A lot of red right on the side of the storm here, and that's been pushing, and that has kept a lid on this, keeping this thing from going category two, maybe even category three, because the water is very, very warm. Squalls tonight, we're not gonna see category two or three. A low end category one as it passes by just to our northeast, a low near 82 for tomorrow. It's gonna start off really stormy, and then the winds will decrease, by afternoon, I think just sun and storms. The winds will swing around during the night. I say stay near port tomorrow. It's not going to be the best day on the water because it's so windy and taking us through the upcoming week. Weather slowly improving tomorrow and it's back to summertime back on Monday. Back to you.